Erin for University TV and today we're at Dominican University of California. Come on Chili, let's waddle onto campus. Dominican is located in San Rafael, California where downtown is just a short walk from campus. Plus, the campus is only 12 miles from the Golden Gate Bridge and within a short drive of San Francisco, Berkeley, Napa, and Silicon Valley. Dominican is located on 80 acres of park-like settings with beautiful Sisters Creek running right through campus. Dominican enrolls just over 2,000 students. 45% of undergrads represent the Alana heritage, which encompasses African American, Latino, Asian American, and Native Americans. Dominican focuses on looking at the student holistically. There are no minimum SAT, ACT scores, or GPA. All students will pay around $33,500 for yearly tuition. For those who choose to live on campus, an additional charge of $11,730 will cover room and board. Luckily, 90% of all incoming freshmen receive some form of financial aid. Chili, you're not ready to leave yet? Well, students get the opportunity to get their fifth year of schooling tuition free. That's good news. So we do offer a four-year graduation guarantee for first-year students, and what that tells the student is that we will support you and provide you with the opportunities you need to be successful here, and you will be offered the classes you need to graduate in four years, and if you don't, then the fifth year is on us. So that's our promise to the students to support them and to provide them with the services and the classes that they need. Dominican University of California offers over 30 academic programs. A few popular majors among students are nursing, biology, teacher education, and business. We do have a BFA in dance in conjunction with the Alonzo King Lions Ballet. That's a very unique program for us. It brings us students from all across the country. Dominican is home to the first green MBA program in the country. The program focuses on a combination of education and business practices that achieve environmental and social sustainability while earning a profit. We like our undergraduates to have at least two to three internships over the course of their education. And even many of our MBAs that are coming back from the career world will oftentimes uh, do an internship. So we have quite a few uh, alumni in the area as well as strong ties to the community in general. So we can go ahead and work with them on placement. Our alumni are great about bringing in students for internships and those type of things. So we're always trying to build that community sense of business as much as we can. There are 83 full-time faculty and 272 part-time professors at Dominican. Of the full-timers, 76% hold a PhD or terminal degree in their field. You really get that one-on-one -on -one attention with your professors and that's actually why I came to a private university. Um, I actually am very close with my advisor, uh, Dr. Ghosh. Um, I'm on a level with him that we go out to dinner and he calls me up randomly and we hang out so he's like one of my really close friends actually. One of the things that I also like doing outside the classes um, is traveling with the students. So we might actually set up um, different things to do. I've been on a number of trips. Um, with, uh, with mixed faculty and student groups. We had a trip to Ecuador, which was a uh, service and mission trip. The honors group organized a trip and we went to Egypt and a couple of years ago we went to Thailand. So there are all of these opportunities also to get to know each other better and to find certain areas of interest where we think we might be able to work later. You know, they sometimes invite them into their homes. At graduation time, you see, you hear about faculty hosting events for their seniors, you know, and, and just celebrating what they've accomplished. So it's really fun to see those relationships grow. They become a big support for our students and, uh, you know, the mentoring continues after graduation. Dominican Penguins are home to 12 intercollegiate athletic teams who compete in the NCAA Division II level in the PacWest Conference. Let's go, girls! In 06, the men's basketball team won their fourth straight conference championship, which was a first in Cal Pac history, their former conference. There are four residence halls on campus, three of which are traditional in one apartment style. With a mix of historical, one built in 1888, and modern design facilities, students are provided a homey living experience. Most of the freshmen live in the same dorm, so it's definitely easy to create a community and uh, bond with like your sweet mates and everyone who's really living in your hall. 
Dominican has an abundance of student clubs and organizations, including a vibrant intramural program with state-of-the-art facilities to use and an active student association. Interested in a diverse atmosphere? Balance your academics while staying environmentally conscious in gorgeous Northern California settings and choose Dominican University of California. Well, I think that was a successful tour. High five. Oh yeah, but we've got to go, but hopefully you'll have a chance to come check out the campus for yourself. I'll see you next time.